So wait, if our solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago, isn't the premise, part of his question has a false premise, which is I would not end up in it because the entire so solar system would not have arrived in the location. The solar system is there in that location. No, 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 years. no, no. We're in a rotating galaxy. Mm -hmm. The Milky Way is rotating. And so that is all the stars in the Milky Way are rotating around our central black hole mm -hmm. in the center. So if you go back in time, if you go back in time, you are no longer where you left in space and you'll be dropped in the middle of nowhere. So you, you, you always have to land in a space-time coordinate in the future. We sort of do that, but without the relativity part, if you're gonna visit Mars, you don't aim for where Mars is, you aim for where Mars will be when you get there. Get there. Then you intersect Mars. So if you're going back 2,000 years, it you, will be an empty... Well, there's going to be a Home Depot because they existed <laughs> in a Subway sandwich shop. They're, they've been around... And, in the mall, yeah. They, they, well, I mean, you know, their franchising methodologies <laughs> are brilliant and they never get enough credit. So what, what, you, what you need is you have to know where was the solar system and the Earth 2,000 years ago and not only move back in time, but move back to that location But in you space. cannot say that the Mangahela would not be the Mangahela 2,000 years ago. Why wouldn't it be? Why would not it be exactly what it is today? The Without, Mangahela sounds like native, a native tribe. It is. That's who would be there <laughs> well, 2,000 years ago. But he's asking if I create a time machine to go back to Mangahela, would I not end up in an empty space? Yes, he would, unless he moved in time. 